Hey what's going on guys, I'm back with another video. I would just like to first start off by saying I'm sorry for the lateness of this video. It's almost been like two weeks I think. If you follow me on social media you'll see that I've been having issues with my, my internet and then my PC went corrupt as such. I had to format some things and then revert back to an, an older save that I had. So I lost, I lost quite a lot and basically long story short, I wanted to cry, I fixed it, now we're here. So let's let's go into this. It's another let's talk. So let's talk about does violent video games make you violent? I feel like I've got like a unique sort of viewpoint from this due to me playing violent video games for as long as I can remember, but also my mum being a psychologist. So she sort of we have both views, I guess, both sides of the argument. So we've talked about this for a good few years. I actually did a, a report for this for college, so I feel like I've I've sort of went in depth with this before and no matter what this this topic always comes up. Every year, like every few months, something some sort of study gets gets done about this. And I'm just gonna put it out there, I basically think it is a load of bollocks. Um I can see some viewpoints of it, but I don't I don't see why playing a video game would make you violent. Basically the there's the study that was uh that was been talked about, I think it was maybe like two or three months ago. The whole reason that I, I, this topic came to mind is um I was watching a YouTuber that I like called uh, Azzy Child. Uh, I'll link his his stuff below and he does he does a video where he talks just about stuff that was in the news in uh, this this report or this study was one of the topics and I've, I've just always felt passionate about this because I, I just I feel like that the topic itself is really stupid. I'll link all his stuff down below if you want to go watch his video. Uh, he's probably better at talking about it than me. Uh, but yeah, I'll link the, uh, the study that was done. It's basically saying how there's, there's positive and negatives towards playing video games. So my point of view, I've played I've played violent video games since like GTA I can't even remember the first GTA I played but like there was San Andreas Vice City and stuff and I was very young I was like maybe 10 onwards so I've played violent video games for a while I'm not sure what gameplay is going to be in the background because it's just going to be based on how long I talk but it's going to be Gears of War because that is like a really violent video game there's a lot of blood and gore and it's something that I've played for a long time so I thought it kind of matched. So basically what they're trying to say is and the majority of these negative uh, studies is that if you play a violent video game you're going to go out and do the exact same thing outside and it makes you violent and want to kill someone. So in GTA if you pick up a hooker and you go to a back alley and you do the, the deed and you pay money and when she gets out you run her over and take your money back. That's, sorry that was that's very unprofessional, I got a notification. Um, and you take your money back that you're going to do that in real life. Like, that's that's the sort of thing that I find stupid. Like, even if, Gears of War, for example, you're going to find someone and shoot them. So, take America, for example, where there's, like, a lot of gun crime due to how easily it is to get a gun. And with all the, the mass shootings that have been happening, if... If that person played Call of Duty, for instance, and they happen to play it and they go out and kill someone, why does this revert back to being, oh, this person plays Call of Duty? It must be the reason why he's so violent. Like, that's that's just idiotic to me. If, if you're going to do something violent, you've already got something in mind to do and you've got something wrong mentally that you need to get sorted out. So with my mum being a psychologist, we've we've had this this talk before, and she sort of agrees with me, but then disagrees at the same time. She feels like if if someone plays video games that are violent, they will do something if they have something mentally wrong with them. Violent video games aren't the cause for people to be violent, but it can be a trigger, and I can see that viewpoint. But that's not video games' fault. Like you can't, you can't, you can't blame video games for making one person violent, but then 
like spreading it across everyone else like no one should play video games because this one person has mental issues and decides to go on a rampage for me it does the opposite effect um i would say i'm i'm a very chill person and uh, like when i meet people in person but like i get a lot of aggression and gears of war and just video games in general are sort of like an outlet so if if i feel some sort of anger i go on i shoot some people i blow them up i possibly teabag them on the ground because i'm so much better than them and life goes on it's not like i'm going to get angry shoot someone in a game think oh that's a great idea let's go out and shoot someone admittedly when playing like competitive games and we lose and like stupid reasons or we have arguments in game and you have to go off i do feel a little bit like aggressive and angry once the game is over but i don't go out and do anything about it i chill out i relax i may get snappy at people if they speak to me and i may shout at them and swear at them because i'm scottish that's like a natural thing to do but i don't go out and hurt physically like physically hurt someone it's not something you would do it all comes back to the person themselves it means they've got something wrong with them in their mind they've got some sort of mental issue that is not really something you can see but they would have to like go they must know themselves and they would have to go see someone like see a psychologist for instance or a therapist whatever you guys want to call them it's some sort of mental issue it's not it's not really based on a video game it comes down to the person themselves there's there's like a lot that you could dive into here but i'm just trying to scratch the surface because the video could probably go on for a while I would like to know what you guys think down the down the comments. Uh, do, do you think violent video games make you violent? How long have you been playing violent uh, video games? Because I remember there was like a big a big thing maybe a few years ago. I think the game was called Manhunt. I'm not sure if if you guys have ever played it or or heard the story, but it got banned in certain places because um, one kid played it and copied something from it and killed someone and they blamed the video game for it which i guess i can see it from them copying it but again it's not the video game's fault it's the person who has something in their mind and already planned to do this there's there's so many variations of this there's like i'll talk about porn for instance as a child talk about this um you, you watch some kind of porn and you like it it doesn't mean you're going to be doing that sort of thing some people watch watch risky porn some people like the the whole rape culture thing I, i'm not sure why but you're not exactly going to be going out and doing that it's just it, it's a fantasy of such that you you live through so there's there's whole different sort of angles you can look at this from and it's not just video games there's other things like what about action films what about if you watch um, a, ter a Tarantino movie and um, what about if, if you watch that and then you go out and cut someone's ear it's, it's not it's stupid the, the whole culture of trying to blame things on the way people act it's not things it's the person themselves this has probably been like a, a rambling video I've not wrote, wrote any sort of script for this I sort of went, went off the cuff and just kind of tried to talk what was what was on my mind as we do with these these sort of let's talks it's just kind of off off the cuff no no sort of preset things just trying to me and you talk i haven't put the camera on this thing so i just want to see see different uh different styles of doing this maybe if you don't like this i'll put the camera on next time we'll just sit in the camera there'll be no no gameplay but i felt like uh the gameplay was sort of tied in with the, the topic so uh, this has sort of been like a a random little video that i wanted to do mainly due to the the recent uh studies being done for the people that, that don't really like these and are here for the tech videos uh you'll be happy to know that the next couple of videos will be tech related and uh, i'm doing a project right now um partnered up with bitphoenix and uh, ebuyer.com 
and I'm going to be doing a PC build, uh, Project Trident. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a mini or a micro ATX build. So you'll be seeing some unboxing of, of stuff and then a full uh, build log. And I've also been doing some changes to my setup that I talked about in the setup video. If you haven't saw that already, I'm sure you have, but I'll link it somewhere. Um, I'll be doing changes to that. I'm just waiting on one more thing arriving. And then I'm going to video the whole process of me doing the KO management, moving things around and getting rid of things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, this has just been a, a, a sort of quick video. How long has it been? Maybe like 10 minutes or so. I'll try and find a good gameplay that you can watch. I'm not sure what I've got on uh, on my hard drive anymore since I had to format. But hopefully you enjoy, guys. If not, please hit that dislike button. Give me some constructive criticism as always. That, that would be great. If you liked it, just hit that like button. Maybe leave some comments on what your opinions are on maybe violent video games, violent movies, how they they are portrayed on the media um, and follow me on all social medias if, if you like on Twitch or on Twitter I'll leave all them below uh, if you if you want to discuss discuss some sort of business uh, I'll leave my business email down below as well that's cookiedumbusiness at gmail.com and hopefully you enjoy guys so that's that's the end of this video peace